All right, let's go ahead and talk about sets, all right? So for those of you that have kind of re forgotten about sets, let's go and go through the general information real quick as an overview, all right? And let's just try to write all the stuff on a note card. If you need to use the back side of the note card, that's fine. But we're gonna take all those notes that we've taken and we all wanna get just to the important part about sets. So sets, um, sets is a collection of objects. Okay, so a set, set, let's just use the verbal. Set, a collection of objects. Then a subset, okay, is a set within a set. And an element is an object in a set. So those are all very important things to have. Uh, the next thing, let's go and see how do we label sets and how do we label subsets. So the most famous set out of all is our universal set. And remember universal set, I'm going to make sure I have that U. What that stands for is your universal set. And just like the universe, we claim it had, you know, holds all the stars and galaxies and everything else, universal set is your general set that holds all of your elements, okay? Well, you can have many subsets below it, but your universal set is your collection of all your elements. So universal set, collection, um, well, we just call it our, our universal set. And then we have, um, I'll say collection of all elements. <coughs> Okay, so that's our universal set. And then let's go ahead, so we have our universal set. Now let's go and look at our regular set notation. So we have A would be like a name of a uh, set. And we could say that three is contained in set A. I'm gonna give you guys some examples here in just a second. That is a contained symbol. That means three is contained in the A. All right. So A, we just our capital letters are A. I'm just going to go through definitions. Then on the other video, I'll show you guys an example. Then we have our intersection. And that is um, that is an intersection. We have two sets. That is the combined or the shared elements. I'm not the combined, it's just the shared elements or the elements that they have in common. Elements in common, and that's between two or more sets. And then we have our union. Notice the union is different than the universal set. Universal is a big U. Our union is represents the two, two or more sets combined. So they're added together. So that is the combination of elements between two or more sets. All right, and let me just go and write, let me go and fill this in. That means contained All right, so when I say three is contained in A, that means A is a set, all right? And let's say B is a subset. Then I'd say B is 
a subset of A. So that is your vocabulary for a for sets. Make sure that's 